HTML tutorials for beginners hyperlinks let's make some room just before the end of our P element and let's create a hyperlink and we do that by using the a tag a href think of it as reference now here we can link to our internal images perhaps if you want you can do that to other files if you want locally as in within whatever is within your website folders and so on you can link to another file let's actually browse into abaras.html and let's give title to that image say abaras and let's also use the target element you have many different options here explore all of them you'll most likely use the underline blank use that over others and let's close that particular part of it and let's put some text which is called anchor text and let's now close that a tag let's save this document view it in our browser so let me remove that image element itself 60 pixels by 40 pixels so it doesn't take a lot of space here we have our hyperlink let's press on that and it's just gone to about us page let's also do this let's create another one quickly let's say href for that and give an external https url for a domain and give title to that not tab index title equals Target. We don't have to use the target. Let's just leave it as without using it because we don't have to use it. Let's say as you walk to that and close that A tag. Let's refresh this one. Let's refresh the page and if we press on that, it's going to take us to a different domain. So this is what hyperlinks are all about. Best practices is that utilize a title tag and when putting text into title tag just think of the end point that you're referencing because that's what a tags are used for you are referencing a different uniform resource locator it locates a different resource so what is that resource about it goes within the title tag and i'll talk with you in the next video session